So welcome to the Wolfson Unit for Endoscopy at St Mark's Hospital in London, the United Kingdom. I'm Dr Brian Saunders, Director of the unit, and this is Dr Zach Teamoulos, my research fellow colleague. We're very pleased to introduce to you a new device called the Endocuff. The device comes in a pre-packed uh, container, which is sterile, and the device is designed to act as a restraint for folds to open up the field of view and improve visib visibility during endoscopy, in particular colonoscopy. The device is attached onto the end of the scope, and as you can see, comes in a range of different colors which uh, will fit on any different type of scope. The device has two rows of soft finger-like projections which on insertion are drawn towards the scope away from the bowel wall but on withdrawal the finger-like projections move laterally to hold uh, mucosal folds and improve visualization. The cuff dimensions are that it's two centimeters in length, the first longer set of finger-like projections are 8.15 millimeters in length. The second row are five millimeters in length. The device fits securely onto the tip of the scope and is not dislodged during insertion or withdrawal. There are a different series of endocuffs which are color-coded and will fit onto different colonoscopes so that both pediatric and adult scopes can be used. So, Zach, how have we evaluated this device? In our prospective feasibility case study, we uh, examined uh, the endocuff on the left colon, mainly on an angulated sigmoid colonic segment, where access, polyp access and visualization was very difficult to maintain. Or where we couldn't see the scar clearly. Oh, yes. Because of all overlying folds which were coming into the field of view uh, even despite manipulation of the patient's use of antispasmodics. So what did we find? Uh, from our study, uh, 30 consecutive patients uh, attended an endoscopic mucosal resection polypectomy and a post-endoscopic mucosal resection scar surveillance in the sigmoid colon. So out of 30 patients, how many did we find that we needed to use this device? In? Among these 30, 12 patients who had difficulty to have polyp access and visualization due to the acute angulation and tortuosity of the sigmoid colon. Okay. Of these 12, five patients underwent uh, endocuff assisted pol EMR polypectomy, and seven patients were subject to endocuff assisted uh, post EMR scar surveillance. And from using the device, were there any complications or problems? Uh, no endocuff appeared to be safe, and there were no intra-procedural complications. Three of the 12, 12 patients in which we used endocuff okay. had diverticular disease, but there was no, there were, there was no complication or problem in, the, in that group, though none of them had very severe diverticular disease. So further studies are required to evaluate whether it is safe in severe diverticular disease. Are, we suspect that it is. We've used the endocuff now in over 50 patients and have had no complications or problems from it. So there are other applications potentially for the, the endocuff which uh, remain uh, very exciting, particularly in terms of making withdrawal easier, opening up folds, potentially increasing adenoma detection rates. Uh, it certainly seems to be a device which helps stabilize the tip of the scope when performing therapy and whether it might also be a device that can help to catch folds and aid in scope straightening again remains to be determined and these are studies for the future. What we've done in this preliminary assessment is look at the specific use of the endocuff to aid in visualization of difficult to see scars and difficult to access therapy with, with endoscopic mucosal resection.